Hi, I'm Christina Ferroni. I'm one of the surgeons, and I'm here with Inga Lennis to talk about the new respiratory illness clinics. Hi, Christina. Thanks uh, for being with me today. My name is Inga Lennis. I'm the Senior Vice President for Practice Improvement and the Patient Experience, and I'm working on our ambulatory response to the COVID pandemic. And today we're going to talk about the respiratory illness clinics, which have been stood up in the last few weeks to care for patients who have respiratory viral illness. Inga, can you tell us a little bit more about who we should refer to the Respiratory Illness Clinic at 175 Cambridge Street? Sure. So we have um, two locations, actually. There's a location at 135 uh, Cambridge Street, as you said, and then we also have a location that's adjacent to the emergency room in the ambulance bay. Both of those locations have opened in the last uh, three weeks to see patients for COVID testing and for patients who have moderate symptoms related to their respiratory illness. So the way to navigate a patient into the clinic is to use the EPIC referral tip sheet. Um, we'll link that tip sheet here in the two things uh, video so that you can access that. That tip sheet um, links to the referral order. There's a smart form that you use uh, for both testing and for referral to the clinic itself. And that is the way that you navigate patients to the clinic. Inside that referral form within EPIC contains all of the um, referral criteria. So patients who um, are older, who have risk factors or symptoms um, or meet testing criteria are patients who are appropriate for the respiratory illness clinic. That sounds great. I know that our leadership of the MGPO, Tim Ferris and Marcella Del Carmen have already volunteered to work in the respiratory illness clinic, but how can the rest of us help? So um, we have a great team of primary care uh, leadership who are arranging for the staffing for the respiratory illness clinic. It's not just primary care that are, um, can staff the respiratory illness clinic. We are drawing clinicians from all different disciplines to be part of this clinic, including nursing as well as medical assistants and physicians and APPs. If um, you are asked to be uh, part of the respiratory illness clinic or provide care, or you are interested in doing that, you should contact your leadership in your department to make sure that you can be added to the care team. We are working on a number of materials um, to be training uh, providers as they join the clinic and to make everyone feel comfortable and confident working in the clinic. Part of those onboarding materials include um, education about proper use of protective equipment in the clinic, um, as well as um, some orientation materials for what types of patients are being seen and what type of evaluations can be done. And we really hope to have a cohesive team experience for anyone who comes to join us um, in the respiratory illness clinic. Thank you, Inga. And thank you to everyone who's working so hard during these difficult times. Would you want to remind everyone to take advantage of all the offerings that the Frigoletto Committee has to try and help us all in this difficult situation?